doesn't say pineapple. Well, I'd like to make sure of that. It doesn't smell like pineapple, though, does it? Kind of. Maybe like you could say pineapple. It's recording. Oh, it is? Hi, everybody. Um, I just wanted to film me packing for my Germany trip. I leave for Germany on Thursday. I've never been over, I've never been out of the United States before other than Canada. So I just wanted to bring one bag and I didn't want to check a bag because I don't like waiting in lines. Didn't want to deal with that whole hassle and I don't know what to expect. So I just wanted to bring one bag. So I went on Amazon and I found these cute little bags. They were $6.99 and they say happy travel. They're, I guess they're called travel cubes. And they came with one, two, three, four bags. And then it came with a laundry bag as well, but I misplaced it somewhere in the house. And then I have this little bag. Um, you can put your documents or whatever you want in there. And it's um, waterproof. The others are not waterproof, but this one is because it's for your documents. So I just wanted to show you how I would fit all of my clothing in these cubes to then fit in my book bag. So let's see. Everything is already packed because I did a trial run to make sure that everything would fit. I have a sweater, I have a couple of workout shirts, um, my hair drying t-shirt that I used to dry my hair, and a lot of t-shirts. I have a pair of jeans and a scarf, a couple of other shirts in here. I have two skirts on the bottom. And a bunch of wrinkle-free t-shirts that I just rolled up and put in there. Another sweater, a tank top, some yoga pants. And the pants that I'm wearing on the plane will be the same pants that I wear to come home. So I just fold all this stuff. The t-shirts the I rolled, but a lot of um, the other things I just laid flat in the bag. And then zip this one up. And then in this bag, I have my undergarments, bras, panties, and I have, I'm going for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I have, uh, Three pair of socks. Don't wear a lot of socks. I'm barefoot most of the time. And I have ten pair of underwear, five bras, two more pairs of yoga pants in here, and another t-shirt. And that's in that bag. And then I have just my toiletry bag where I have... Um, a shower cap and I, I'm bringing two because I deep condition my hair a couple times a week so I'll do that while I'm there. I have my deodorant and floss, sleep bonnet, allergy pills, my soap, travel toothbrush, floss, a couple of hair ties to sleep with and three deep conditioning packets. I'll probably only use one or two while I'm there, but I brought an extra just in case. And then I have an actual real shower cap, nail file, and that's all I'll need because I'm staying with a friend. I don't need to carry any shampoo or conditioner or toothpaste, mouthwash, things like that. If I were not staying with a friend, I probably still wouldn't take those things because the hotels will normally have them. Then I'm not going to need this bag, so this will just get used another time. And then I just have for the front of my bag. I don't. I'm not a purse person, so I won't be carrying a purse while I'm there. And if I need a little something, I'll just borrow a small bag from my friend while I'm there. So I just have my little snacks that I'm going to take on the plane, my trail mix, and my chocolate-covered espresso beans, 
So I'll put those in the front of my bag so they're easily accessible. Pack of gum because my ears really hurt on an airplane and I don't find that this really does anything for me but a lot of people say it helps. So I always chew it just in case although I don't think it helps. And I have my antibacterial, my Blistex, and then um, just a little turkey jerky. And I have a, um, a cheese stick in the refrigerator that I'll put in here as well, just to have something to snack on on the plane. So now I'm going to try to put everything in here. This is a 50 liter, I'm sorry, 30 liter um, book bag. I got it from Walmart, $25. And I use it a lot. It's very comfortable. It has padding on the back. It has this extra strap to put around your waist if you need extra support so you can take some of the weight off your shoulders. And then it also has another um, support to, to put around so that the bag doesn't fall off easily when you're carrying it. And it has the small compartment here in the front with the netting, which is where I'll put anything I need right away. It has this little compartment here. I'll put my passport and my wallet and stuff in here. And, and I have a pen in there also. I was told to carry a pen because going uh, to another country you have to fill out paperwork and a lot of times the airport doesn't have enough so I have my own to take care of that. And I have this other compartment that I don't think I'll really need. I'll probably put a pair of um, shoes in here but I'm wearing my heavier shoes so I don't have to worry about packing that way. Okay, so this is my main bag. We'll stuff this in here. And then my second bag will go in, in this, into the same compartment. I still have room at the bottom here. Let's see. And then my toiletry bag can go right on top. This also helps if when you get through and they need to check your bags for any reason, instead of having all of your stuff flying out, all over the place in your underwear on the conveyor belt and all that you'll have the little compartment so they can um, check what they need to check without you totally destroying your bag and having to try to put everything back together in a, in a quick time so that's everything it all fits it's all in there it's actually not even that heavy and uh, it's not heavy at all actually and everything fit in the bag and I'll probably just, you know, when I get to the airport, buy a water. I have these little side compartments to put stuff in. And that's it. I'm ready to go. Thank you.